Hello, welcome to Azure Functions. In this session, we will talk about Azure Functions and key features of Azure Functions and what we can do with functions. How much does functions cost? After that, I will log into Azure portal and show you how to create function app using Azure portal. Azure functions. Azure functions allows you to run small pieces of code without worrying about application infrastructure. With Azure Functions, the cloud infrastructure provides all the up-to-date servers you need to keep your application running at scale. Using Functions, you can build and debug locally without additional setup, deploy and operate at scale in the cloud, and integrate, it, integrate services using triggers and bindings. You can take advantage of a complete end-to-end -end development experience with functions from building and debugging locally on major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux to deploying and monitoring in the cloud. You can use functions, extensions, and templates on Visual Studio and Visual Studio Core for a faster and more efficient development on your local machine. You can develop using your favorite code editor and the Azure, func Azure Functions core tools. Key features of Azure Functions. Serverless applications. Functions allow you to develop serverless applications on Microsoft Azure. Second, choice of language. Write functions using choice of c -shot, Java, JavaScript, Python, and PowerShell. Pay for, pay for use pricing model. Pay only for the time spent running your code. You can, we have different consumption plans. We will talk about when we go to pricing section. The fourth one, bring your own dependencies. Fifth one, integrated security. Sixth one, uh, simplified integration. Easily integrate with Azure services and software as a service offerings. Flexible development. Set up continuous integration and deploy your code through GitHub, Azure DevOps services, and other supported development tools. Last to stateful serverless architecture and open source. These are the key features of Azure Functions. What can I do with functions? A series of templates is available to get you started with key scenarios, including HTTP, can run code based on HTTP request, timer, schedule code to run at predefined times, Azure Cosmos database, process new and modified Azure Cosmos database documents, blob storage, process new and modified Azure storage blobs, queue storage, respond to Azure storage, queue messages, event grid, respond to Azure event grid events via subscriptions and filters, event hub, respond to high volumes of Azure event hub events, service bus queue, connect to other Azure or on-premises services by responding service bus queue messages, service bus topic, connect 
other Azure services or on-premises services by responding to service bus topic messages. How much does functions cost? Azure functions has three kinds of pricing plans. Consumption plan, premium plan, app service plan. Azure provides consumption plan. Azure provides all the necessary computational resources. You don't have to worry about resource management and only pay for the time that your code runs. If you pick, if we pick consumption plan, we don't have to worry about resource management and we pay only for the time that our code runs. Second, premium plan. You specify premium plan, Azure provides, when your function runs, Azure provides any additional computational resources that are needed. You pay for the premium instances running continuously and any additional instances you, you, you use as Azure scales your app in and out. Last one, app service plan. Run functions within an app service plan at regular app service plan rates. App service plan has three plans, dev test, production workflow, and then isolated one. We will go to Azure portal and I will show you how to create a function app using Azure portal. I'm logging into Azure portal now. Now we will go to home and go to search option and just type function. Under the services, we see function app. Just click on function app. We are in function app window. Click on add. Then we need to choose a subscription and then we need to create a resource group. I'll just create a resource group with the name function iPhone resource group. We need to give a function app name. I'll just say learning path 2020.azurewebsites.net. This is our Azure function app name. Then publish. We use code and run time stack. I'll pick .NET Core. We, we see that region is loading. I just give a couple of minutes. Just loading. Now region central US, or we can change it if, you, if we want. I'll just keep it central US for now. Let's go to next one, hosting. This is the storage account. And then operating system, windows, and then plan types. We know this function has three plans, consumption plan, premium plan, and Azure app service plan. We just discussed about these three plans. For this demo, I will pick app service plan and we can change the size for the production is for most production workloads or production plan i will use a dev test for less demanding less demanding workloads i will pick this 60 minutes day compute free plan to supply this let's go to monitoring enable application insights yes let's go to review Everything looks good. 
I just deploy this function app. Deployment in progress. Deployment is complete. Let's go to resource. Now we can see this function app status is running. Location central US. Operating system, Windows and app service plan. F1, dev test plan. Here, let's just copy this URL or just click on this URL. We just, we just gave this name learning part 2020.azurewebsites.net. Let's click on this URL. So here we can see your functions 3.0 app is up and running. So if you want to start and build this a function app, if you want to upload your code, just go to a deployment section. Under deployment, you can see a deployment center. So here the source control, if you have your code available in Azure repos or GitHub, Bitbucket, local Git, you can just choose the source control. I'll just show you how to add the source control. Let's just pick this Azure repos. Continue, and then continue. So here you have to give Azure DevOps organization name, project, and your repository path where the code exists. This is how you upload your code, and this is how you start building your function app. If you want to monitor the metrics, you can go to monitoring section and click on metrics. Here you can monitor metrics using this metric section. If you want to set up any alerts, you can, we don't have any alerts yet. We just deployed this function app. You can create a new alert using this alert, create alert rule. And then this is the resource health. So our app is running. There are no recommendations. Let's go to overview. And if you go to overview under the security, and we can see all the recommendations. So there are no security recommendations for this resource. So when you deploy any resource, Azure provides recommendations. You can follow those recommendations to make it your app running more efficiently and highly available and cost savings. Let's go to overview and our function app is running. So this is how you create a function app using Azure portal. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.